Hello, people. How are you? Good evening. Hello, Domingo. Hello, Domingo. Good evening, Alfredo. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. Okay. That's good. And you, how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Ready? I'm ready to teach. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Domingo. No, no tenía encendido el micrófono. <laughs> okay, no problem. Well, guys, it's video conference number 10. Yes, we are in the middle of the course. So, uh, after this class, just 10 more classes, and then you're going to finish course number four. Okay, so let's begin the class. I'm going to start taking the attendance. Oh, Mr. Rodas is very happy because this will be a conference number nine. Yeah, number nine or ten people. Now I'm confused. It's nine, right? Yes, it sure is nine. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's start. Yeah, it's Wednesday, 29th. Alba Dinora Vives? Alfredo Alexander? Oh, present okay. teacher. Alba said present, right? She was running. Wait a moment. Mr. Cañengue, so say tú. Eh, Mr. Gualberto Rodríguez. Cristina Romero. Y así. Yo. Bueno. Ahí de Julio. Yo creo que tenía mis preguntas. Ok, Cristina Romero. Not here. Yeah. Okay, Domingo Alexander. Present. Fatima Portillo. Matías Lemos. Here. Marco David. Present. Chair. Marlon Cardona. Mauricio Alexander. Um, Maydeli. 
in the chat present. Thank you, Matias. Okay. Nancy Rodriguez. Present teacher. Rocío Martínez. Present teacher. Salvador Escobar. Present teacher. Sandra Velázquez. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter Daniel Pérez. William Pérez. Jasmine Melanie Lemos. Present teacher. Hey guys, thank you so much for being here just on time. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to share the screen so you can see the presentation. Uh, this evening, I'm going to ask, a, let me see who, Nancy. Nancy? Okay, maybe she is not there right now. Victor? Hello. Can you please read the class objective for this class, please? Okay. 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 Vocabulary and practice. Class objective. Participants will be able to perform a role play using the vocabulary in the grammar. Learner during the unit in which one employee is asking for a rise correctly. Okay, thank you so much. So uh, we're going to learn about that. Uh, it's like the review of the unit in which we practice the vocabulary and the structures that we learned in this unit, okay? Very good. Um, to show that you have learned uh, these structures and vocabulary, you are going to prepare a role play conversation and you are going to perform it in front of the class. So let's see the activities that we have in the class. Um, Sandrita, would you like to read the activities, please? Teacher Sandra is with the baby. Okay, um, so in that case, Jasmine Lemos. Howdy, teacher. Agenda. What, what else? What would you say? Or two. Activity one. Vocabulary for online purchasing. Purchasing. Activity two. Activity purchasing. It's activity three. Roller play. Activity four. Wrap. Wrap. Okay. Thank you so much. So those are the activities that we have for today. We have different skills: vocabulary, listening, speaking, and a little bit of writing. So um, we're going to start with a review of the previous the previous class. Do you remember what was the structure? Yesterday, we learned the use of would and would like to. So let's read the first, number one. Let's see, Matias, can you please read the number one? Uh, <clears throat> number one. I would like travel to Spain next summer but I don't have enough, enough money. Enough, enough en money. Enough okay. money. 
So it's the correct answer. Would like would to. Like I would like to. to. Like to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, see, see, intended. Okay, okay, very good. Number two. Like to. Let's see, Marco. I would like to eh, see one now. Después del like, ahí sí, ¿verdad, teacher? Es por el verbo. Ajá. Okay. Would you like, would, would you like to see an action movie tomorrow night? No, thank you. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Would you like to see? Mm -hmm. Number three. Um, Alfredo, are you ready to order? Yes, I would like a sandwich, please. Excellent. In this case, is just would like because we have a noun and not a verb. Yes, I would like a sandwich, please. Mm -hmm. Number four, Salvador, can you read number four? Okay, teacher. I'm better. Uh, what would what would like you like to do this weekend? I said, I can't understand this tema muy bien, teacher. Ah, you were not in the class yesterday. That's why. <laughs> okay, I'm bored. What would you like to do this weekend? Okay. When we have a verb after like, like in this case to, we are going to use to, would like to. But like in the previous examples, I would like to travel. Would you like to see an action movie? What would you like to do this week? But in the number three, it's different because we don't have a verb. We have a sandwich, which is a noun, okay? Okay. Yes, I would like a sandwich, please. Okay, number five. Uh, Nancy? Uh, what teacher? Hi. Number five. Hi. How many chocolate uh, hit the Cooking. Cookies? Cookies, you. Cookies, good like. Good like. Good you like. How many? How many chocolate chip cookies would you like? Uh -huh. How many chocolate chip cookies would you like? ¿Cuántas galletas How many de chocolates gustarías? Uh -huh. Ok. Nice. Thank you so much. Ok. Now, oops, let's go to the next activity. For the next activity, we are going to have another practice using would with situations. But this is, um, this is a game. Okay? It's a game. So we're going to have two groups. Let me see the groups. We have 14 students, so seven and seven, but we have a lot of oyentes. <laughs> okay, in the group number one, we are going to have Mr. Domingo. Alfredo. And Matias. Okay, Domingo, Alfredo, Matias, and Nancy. Okay, okay Domingo, Alfredo, Matias. Nancy, Maideli, and Victor, 
en Salvador. Ok. In the other, in the group number two, we're going to have Marco, Mr. Cañengues, Rocío, Sandra, Alba, Jasmine, and Walter. Did I mention everybody? Okay, do you remember your group? Teacher, yes. me, me disculpa que a mí me sacó, mi internet me sacó, entonces no, 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 no sé qué es lo que, lo que vio. Okay, in this, we have some situations, and you have to say, um, you have to say, um, what would you do in those situations, okay? How can I change? Okay, anyways. Okay, guys. Let's start. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, team number one, please give me a number. One, seven. Two. Okay, team number one, Mr. Cañengues, you are number two, group two. Ten. Okay. Your dog was throwing up all night. You can call the vet. And the vet says he doesn't have time to see your dog this week. Maybe next week. But you are super worried about your dog because your dog is throwing up or vomiting. What would you do? Okay, people, team one, what would you do? You can answer using I would. What would you do in this situation? Team one. Oh, it worries. Preocupado. Okay, your dog was throwing up all night, uh, uh, vomiting, right? You Did call you the vet. A, ve a, ve okay. a veterinary. veterinary. Exactly, you call, you the, call vet. the vet. And the vet says, mm, I don't have time to see your dog this week. I'm on vacation. Maybe next week. But you're super worried about your dog. What would you do? I uh, will call um, the other do the other the other vet. Okay. You would call another vet. Yes, that would be a nice option. Mm -hmm. okay, very good. Team number two, give me one number. Eleven. Okay, your friend says, I'm really worried about my grandma. She's in the hospital. What would you say? What would you say to your friend? You would like to pray for he, for her? For her, okay. Yeah, so you would say, don't worry. Uh, I'm going to pray for your grandma okay also you could say um if there's something i could if there's something i can do to help you you can count yes. on uh, she would uh, he would uh, to visit at grandma in a hospital okay he would visit he would visit the grandma in the hospital okay Mm -hmm. Thank you. Team number one, number five, teacher. Okay, Fatima is here now. Your brother said you took his $20 meal, but you actually didn't. But you did see it on the washing machine. <laughs> 
What would you do or what would you say to your brother? Your brother said, you took my $20. You didn't, you didn't take your, um, his $20, but you saw the $20 bill on the washing machine. What would you do or what would you say to your brother? Sorry. <laughs> you would say, I'm sorry. Uh, can, can you lend me $20? I'm sorry. I lent. Play. Play uh, it. Puede con los metros. No, tiene que ser así como te pagaría. Sorry, but I. I would like to pay um I will tell my brother the truth. I will say I didn't take I didn't take your money, but I saw it on the washing machine. Okay, washing machine teacher. Lavadora. Okay. Next, team number one. Oh, team two, sorry. Give me one number, please. Four. Yes. Number yes. four. Uh, who, Rocio, can you read, please, the situation? You get home from school or work and you not notice or not? You notice. You notice. You notice the project you've been working on is not where you left it. You look around and can't find it anywhere. You see your brother with some put, put up, paper and scissors. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you do in this situation? I will kill him. You or would? <laughs> I, I hope that you're not talking seriously. <laughs> I would get very upset. Upset is, is disappointed or or what? It's like angry. Ah, angry. Ah. Angry. I would get very upset and worried. Ah, okay. Yeah, imagine your school paper or your, or your university project or work project on paper or your homework, your English homework. You can find it. But you see your little brother with the cut of papers and the scissors. <laughs> okay, that would be very, very funny in the end. Okay. So, team number one. Well. Oh, you're going to swap points from the team two. Okay, um, team two, give me one number, please. 11. It's already, you already said 11, another number. The numbers Eight. are blue, okay. <clears throat> um. You're running to someone you used to work with, but you forgot his name. So you were in the shopping mall, right? Or in a restaurant or in a pupuseria. And then you see someone that used to work with you, but you don't remember his name. What would you do or what would you say? You are thinking, oh, What's the name of this man? I can't remember. What would you do or what would you say? I asked her, her name again. I would? I will. 
ask, I will ask, I will ask, ask the name okay. again. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Another option? Another possibility? Maybe I could do, do like to call her. I'm sorry, can you repeat? I couldn't hear you very clear. Please. Can you repeat your idea, please? Because I couldn't hear you very well. Or has another person or another co-worker the name of of the people of I okay but imagine it's just I mean in the moment right in the moment all right uh, you know what this is my technique when I don't remember someone's name but another person is with me so I say this um oh and I want to I want to introduce my 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 friend okay and I and the friend says oh my name is and so the other person says oh my name is this and that and so they say nice to meet you oh so in that moment I can remember the name of this person <laughs> so that is the technique I use okay. good, tactic. good idea yeah. <laughs> so yeah, have another person, have the other person uh -huh, ask the name. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very good. So now, thing number one, number? Thing number one. Three. Oh, more swap points. Okay, team two. Perdón, teacher. Y yo estaba en el dos o en el uno. Two. Two, okay. Number, number, number six. Can you read, please? Your boss has a big glove of baby speed. Es, up, of speed up. Her, speed up. Es, speed up. On her back. And you not notice, not not notice. It right before an important meeting. Okay. What would you do or what would you say? So you see that your boss has a big love of baby speed up on her back. And your boss is going to an important meeting. So what would you do or what would you say if you see the baby speed up on her back? Mm. Not sure, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, this is for everybody. So the glove of baby speed up, it means like a, like a substance or a liquid something, right? That the babies, you know, when you have a baby, the babies, you know, sometimes they, they speed up like some saliva or some like those li liquids like with milk or food. <laughs> So your boss has it on, on her back and you notice it. Usted lo nota. Justo antes de una important meeting, what would you do or what would you say? Teacher, what is the meaning of glove of? Yeah, I was, I was explaining that. It's like liquid or a substance. Mm -hmm. Gancheta. <laughs> a very sticky, sticky 
um, substance or liquid. Mm -hmm. Como la crema, o so qué? La... Baba, baba. Saliva, una gran cheta. <laughs> No, no lo, lo que los bebés, los bebés, no saben, tampoco, ¿verdad? O sea, los que han tenido bebés saben que, que los bebés a veces se les salen. Sí, cosas. Se les, hasta lo pueden vomitar el lomo uno. Exacto, entonces a eso se refiere, como a vomito de bebé. Diga. But will be at the meeting the boss or me or both? No, no, your boss. Ah. Mm. So I am, I am taking care of the, the baby. No, es que dice así. No. Su jefe tiene como eso, ¿verdad? En el, esa, ¿qué? ¿Cómo lo podríamos decir en español? Como el vómito en la espalda. Ajá. Y usted lo nota, dice, justo antes de una reunión importante. Vos. I would, no, sería, I would, would you, no, I would, I will change your shirt, boss. I would like to borrow my, my clothes. No, but, ¿qué, qué haría, qué haría usted? That, what would you do? Le, le diría a mi jefe que cambie su camisa. Ah, I would tell. I clean. O sea, que I limpie. will change. O limpiar. Your shirt. Okay, first. No se puede decir así. Okay, first. You have. Uh, first, I would tell my boss. Hey, boss, you have something on your back. Okay. Second. You can uh, suggest, I would suggest to clean it or to change the shirt. But if, if the boss doesn't shirt. have another, another, another piece of clothes or maybe wear a jacket or something like that. Okay. Okay. Okay, people, because of the time, just one more, okay? Yeah, number? Seven. Okay, Matias, would you like to read it? Your walker brown in cooking for her birthday treat. And you take one and it toasted terrible, like she forgot the sugar. Okay, so your coworker brought some cookies for her birthday, and you take one, and it tastes terrible because it doesn't have any sugar. And, and maybe your coworker is very happy sharing the cookies. Oh, take cookies. What would you do or what would you say? I say, I would like some water, please. <laughs> okay. Con agua se todo. Okay. The better solution. I would like two glass of water. Okay. Oh, I would you like glass of water así es verdad so it's good to like would you like glass of water yes okay mm -hmm. or would you like a cup of coffee so you would you would offer a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Es que Matías oh. me dice lo que él lo que él le diría a otra persona, pero yo uh -huh. estoy preguntando qué haría en esa situación. What would you do in that situation? Ah, is ah. stay the is stay the coffee con bread cookies. 
Es el tiempo del café con la Farco. Good coffee. Ah, es el tiempo del café con la Farco. Good coffee. Es que sería feo decirle, teacher, que es tan mala. Ah, ok. So, you wouldn't, you wouldn't tell, uh, you, you can say that, I wouldn't tell my co-worker that they are not good. I would yes. eat it. And I would say thank you. <laughs> yes. Ok. Very okay. good. Thank you, guys. I mean, it made us think. This game made us think. Okay, so let's continue with the presentation. Um, after practicing good, now I have here some conversations, okay? In these conversations, you are going to practice may and might and other, and other uh, models, they like will for future. So look at the first one, going to the grocery store. It's between Sue and John. And they said, Sue says, I'm gonna go to the grocery store today. Does that mean you're not going? I mean, um, that I'm not sure if I will go to the grocery store today, but I might. So you're going? As I said, I am thinking about it. I will decide later, okay? So they are, they are talking about possibilities. They are not sure if, I mean, she's not sure if she's going to the store, but there is a probability that she is going, okay? Now, number two, winning the football game. It's a conversation between Ed and John. Do you think that our, co our college team will win the football game? They may not. Or you can say, oops, do you think La Selecta will win the football game? Yes. They, know. <laughs> they may not. <laughs> do you think they will lose the game then? I mean, that I'm not sure if they will win the game. Our team is good, but the other team is good as well. I think we will win the game. I hope you're right. Now, number three, conversation three. Would you go on the trip? It says, I may go on a trip to Ireland next year. You may, you're not sure. I have to say enough money to go. If you say enough money, will you go? I think so. I will go if I can say enough money. I won't go if I don't save enough money. It all depends, okay? Uh, conversation four, taking a nap. I may not be able to take a nap today. I'm gonna repeat, I may not be able to take a nap today. Why not? One of my friends may come over today and if she does, I won't take a nap. You aren't sure whether she'll come? No, she told me she'll come if she can. Okay, so it's, as you can see, probabilities. Now, guys, please take a screenshot or open the presentation in your uh, cell phone because I'm going to send you to uh, rules and you're going to practice the conversations with a partner, okay? You can also change the information. Instead of saying college team, you can say La Selecta or instead of grocery store, uh, you can say uh, the supermarket, the shopping mall, uh, going out, etc. Uh, will you go on the trip? You can, instead of saying Ireland, you can change the country. You can say Italy, Spain, Canada, Argentina, Peru, etc. Taking a nap, instead of saying one of my friends may come over, you can say my brother, my sister, my cousin, or any other person, okay? So you can change some information if you want. Are you ready, guys? Don't understand. Hey. 
Can somebody explain the activity to Matias? Uh -huh. Vamos a practicar las, las conversaciones y podemos cambiar algunas partes de ellas. Teacher, the present. Ok, ok. The, the conversion number one, two. Conversation. Conversation. Repeat, Domingo. Conversation. Conversation. Conversation, yes. Conversation. Ready? Okay. Ready. Very good. This is how to practice pronunciation, fluency, and to learn more uh, structures, okay? Good. So please pay attention to pronunciation. If you are not sure how to pronounce something, you can ask for help and I will be there, okay? So we have... Go ahead, please. 